so that they may see that you have helped them with the biggest part of their lives. In Christ Jesus' name. I'd like to take this time and welcome everyone to our graduation ceremonies for class of 2003. I'd like to tell you how proud I am of these students. It has been my privilege in my first year in this position to have the vast majority of these students, both as students in my classroom in the past, but also as a principal. And I want to thank them personally for uh, the great year that they have helped us out with and the leadership they have shown. I've asked them for guidance on several occasions and they have been honest, sometimes brutally so, but I appreciated that. I asked this class to help us set a goal and a mission statement for the school, and our goal is stick to the focus of proficiency. And the legal. They, they had to bear with me and listen to that every day on the intercom, so uh, they became very well versed in that, so I'm proud of them. But you know, success of these fine students does not come by itself. There are other groups that always help someone achieve a great goal. This time there's two special groups I would like to recognize. The first group I'd like to recognize so the students can show their appreciation or our seniors may have that opportunity. First saw these students, many of them, as they came to our high school as wide-eyed freshmen, wondering where they fit in and how they would achieve their goals. They managed to teach them some English, science, social studies, math, family consumer sciences, agriculture, welding, humanities, carpentry, and many other wonderful things. They have cheered with their successes and groaned at some time when they didn't quite meet their goals. But always, they've coached their practices, they've been chaperones on their trips, they've been club sponsors, and most of all, if anything, they've believed in our students when oftentimes our students maybe didn't think they could reach the heights they could. So at this time, I would like our faculty and staff at High County High School to please stand so the seniors can show their appreciation. <laughs> the second group I'd like to recognize tonight have been the most important people in these seniors' lives since they've been on this earth. These people watched them take their first steps. They've tried to hold back tears and fears when they sent them off to school for the first day. They've given them lunch money. They've rushed projects to school that were late when they got phone calls that the news had done that. They've helped them with their homework at night. They helped dress them for proms and, 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 and watched warily as they went out and got their permits for their driver's license and worried sometimes when they didn't come home quite on time. But above all, these people have loved you all unconditionally and hoped and prayed that they've been the best for you that they could be. So at this time, I know it's pretty crowded, but I think our seniors would like to show that appreciation. If all parents, Grandparents and guardians, would please stand, and our seniors would like to voice their appreciation to you all.
much as the end of your childhood. Others say it was the beginning of adulthood, but it's neither the beginning nor the end, but the middle of our lives. We experienced the joys, triumphs, sorrows, and heartbreaks for a number of years, and are now ready to go on to bigger and more difficult challenges. Eleanor Roosevelt once said that the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Your future and mine will take shape over what we want to accomplish in our lifetime. Our dreams from childhood and high school have come together to form the people that we are today. We no longer picture ourselves as an astronaut with a dream, but those tiny pinpoints of recognition and belief in what we are capable of is part of the same force that propels us to a successful future. We believe that we can do it, and we will. Yet we have not been alone in the creation of our dreams. The people that have influenced us the most, family, friends, and other acquaintances, also helped us to see what we can do as well. And this accomplishment of ours means just as much to them as it does to us. To our parents, we have always been there to give constant support and love. All of us sitting here today are here because you care and love us to push us to our limits. Our teachers, you laughed at our jokes and pranks, smiled at our stupid comments, and cried with us when we experienced trials. You will always be our number one fans and greatest allies in fighting for our high school rights. And Mr. Stouffer, for the past four years, you have been our teacher and mentor, but most of all our friend, which is something everyone must have. It has been wonderful having you as our principal this year, and we all want to thank you for keeping our minds stuck to the focus of proficiency and reminding us every day that we are an Ohio County Eagle and fly with the best of them. To my graduating class, there are no words to describe how much all of you have meant to me through the years. I wish you the best of luck, and as I close, I would like to read you a poem by B. Ewing entitled Take Flight. You can fly, you can. The power is there for every man. It's yours for the taking. It's yours if you but ask. Let nothing on this earthly plane keep you from that task. There is a season for waiting before you spread your wings and soar upward to greater heights, onward to greater things. Like the butterfly and humble start, be of glad patience and be of sound heart. Look to the Lord who made you, look up to the heavenly sky, and proclaim for all the earth to hear, look at me world, I can fly. We have our wings now, so let's show the world what we can do. God bless you, class of 2003. At this time, I'd like to present a young man the valedictorian, the 2003 senior class, Mr. Stephen Ford. It will not come without trial and discouragement. 
All of us will face difficult times, and during these times we must persevere, remembering the words of legendary NFL coach Vince Lombardi. The difference between a successful person and others is not a lack of strength, not a lack of knowledge, but rather a lack of will. Jimmy Valvano, another legendary sports figure who achieved monumental success during his lifetime, and even much more in his death, gave wise advice on life in one of the most inspiring speeches of the past 20 years. In it, he declared three things he considered important in life. Where you started, where you are, and where you're going to be. We each had our own unique start in life, a beginning over which we had very little control. And now, we are all in the same place, graduating here in the spring of 2003. Where each of us heads from here, unlike where we started and where we are, is entirely up to us. From this point on, we have the power to direct our lives in any way we desire, and to achieve as much success as we please. Keep in mind that the definition of success varies from person to person. That which is important to one means nothing to another. For some of us, success is measured by financial gains or social status. To others, it is the mastering of a unique talent. Still others find contentment in success and maintain a happy family. Regardless of what we desire, the key to getting where we want to be from where we are is to have an enthusiasm for life, to have a dream and to be willing to work for it. In closing, I would like to share with you a traditional poem by the American transcendentalist Ralph Waldo Emerson entitled, What is Success? To laugh often and much, to win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children, to earn the approbation of honest critics and endure the betrayal of false friends, to appreciate beauty, to find the best in others, to give of oneself, to leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or a redeemed social condition, to have played and laughed with enthusiasm and some with exultation, to know even one life has breathed each of you because you have lived. This is to have succeeded. I wish you all the best of luck in any endeavor you may pursue in life. Many of you I've been fortunate enough to be friends with and talk to often. Others I've barely met in our four years together at OCHS. No matter who you are among this class of 2003, I want each and every one of you to know that I love you, that I remember you in my prayers, and I hope you have the most wonderful life. God bless. This time, Mrs. Lansing White should come forward and present DAR awards and the presentation of Perfect Attendance Awards and the presentation of all other awards. It is my privilege to present to you the Daughters of the American Revolution Patriotism Good Citizenship Award. Students, you are nominated by your teachers on these four areas, honor, service, Courage, leadership, and patriotism. I guess that's five. When I call your name, please stand. Remember, it is an, an, an honor to just have been nominated. I will start with the boys. Mr. John Ryan Allen.
Miss Taryn Deanne Darty.
you though. You haven't graduated yet. You need to. If the graduates would please take their tassels, turn to the other side. Mr. Grover C. Candy will convey the graduation ceremony for fun. You guys are excited to get out of here, aren't you? Mr. Candy. So by the power vested in me by the state of Kentucky and the Ohio County Board of Education, I would like to announce you as graduates of Ohio County High School.